Conditional rendering in React comes very handy when you want to render components based on certain conditions. In React, you can create distinct components that encapsulate behavior you need. Then you can render only some of them depending on the state of your application. In short, we can render different components or JSX elements based on their state. Let's create one file, a conditional rendering.js. Here I am creating a class component using a React snippets. Let's create a simple form which will have one input field and submit button. Don't forget to create state for input field. And also handle change and handle submit methods. If you don't know about the form handling in React, you can watch my previous video. Let's import this component in our app file. As you can see, our form is working. Now I want to create a header element which will display that name value. So let's create a header at the beginning. It must be empty. Now we will use if else for conditional rendering. If this dot state dot name has any value, then we will assign h1 tag to header and display hello name. Else we will set the header state to empty string. Let's import this header element just before the form. Now as you can see, as I'm typing anything here, it gets rendered. And when there is no value, then it doesn't display based on our condition. Instead of this whole thing, we can also use ternary operators where we write a condition and code for its true or false values. For the condition, if this.state.name is not null, then we will return h1 tag else we will display nothing. and it's working. There is also another operator that we can use for rendering which is end operator. It works in conditional rendering because in JavaScript true and expression always evaluates to expression and false and expression always evaluates to false. Let's try it out. It's working fine. Let me show you another example where we can use conditional rendering. As you can see here, whenever I press login button, it is changed to a logout button. Also, the about text is also changing from please sign up to welcome. And vice versa happens when I press logout button. As you can see here, they have only used one state which is is logged in, which is in boolean value. This example is taken from React's official documentation. I will put this link in the description so that you can learn from it. That's the end for this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.